To replace this actuator, let's go into the driver's footwell by the pedals. And if you stick your head up here, you'll see this actuator right here. It's held on by two mounting screws. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it first. To do that, you can just press on this little tab that unlocks it. Press this one right here and then pull it out. Set that to the side. There's another one right there. Take this actuator out. Now when we took it out, this arm came with the actuator. That's normal. Just pull it straight out and it will come off of the gear that's connected to the motor. And one thing to note at this point is you can see this gear has one spline missing here. That's so you can line this up correctly. And what you wanna do is plug in the new motor, which is right here, which also has one spline missing. That right there is the missing spline. And so to line these up, let's plug this one in and run it free spinning like this to make sure that it's in the same position as this one right here. Bring the new one up and let's plug it in. Flip it around so we can see it. Now let's activate the actuator by turning the temperature knob. I went all the way to cold. Now I'm going all the way to the hot position. Okay, so now the actuator and the car know which position the motor is in. It's important to do that, otherwise you can run into issues when you connect it and the door bottoms out before the motor actually reaches the end of its uh, travel. So now shut this off, remove your key from the ignition. Now we can take this back out, unless you wanna reassemble it up there, but it's kind of uncomfortable. And take the new actuator. I remember that the arm was facing like this when I took it out. So I'm gonna position it in the same direction. And now let's put it in. All right, so now for the final installation, make sure that this white arm connects with the blend door. And then after that is when you wanna line up the screws. Okay, let's put in the screws. one screw. I'm going to try to start the other one as well. All right, so I don't have it in at the top yet. I know the screw looks like it's in there, but it's really not threaded into anything. Um, I just want to thread this on a little more. That way it can be held on securely down here and it can pivot around the bottom. All right, so with that done, I can try and line up the top. All right, finally got this top one in. Let's just tighten it up, make sure it's nice and snug. Okay, and tighten up the bottom one. Make sure that one's nice and snug too. Let's give it a test. That's all the way cold, all the way hot, and everything in between. Perfect.